Hey guys, and welcome back to 2Core. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make a microscope attachment for your cell phone that costs under $5. So I may have mentioned this before, but I'm a scientist by training, and I spend a lot of my time staring inside of microscopes to explore the world around us. The only thing about microscopes though, are that they can be pretty expensive, ranging from hundreds to thousands of dollars, and they're not the most portable for exploring outside. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn your smartphone into a portable microscope for under $5. All you need is a laser pointer, some double-sided tape, and a smartphone. Now when I say this is less than $5, that's assuming that you already have a smartphone or some sort of phone that has a camera on it. Because all we're really going to do is build a lens that's gonna act as a microscope using a $3 laser pointer and a $1.50 roll of double-sided tape from Walmart. So first, we need to take apart our laser pointer because the only thing we actually need from it is this little lens that's gonna be cased inside of this plastic coating. So we're gonna pop that plastic off, pull the lens out, and that'll be our microscope lens. Now it sounds a lot easier than it actually is. I have done this multiple times because I use this quite a bit actually. But taking apart a laser pointer and getting this little lens out is, it can be a bit annoying. So it's, it's encased in here, this button locks that in there, and I haven't figured out the best way. So you're gonna watch me struggle. That's just part of, part of the journey. So I'm going to try using these pliers Pulling this out. Ho oh, ho! First time. Wow, this is actually the best. Take a pair of pliers and just yank it out, and that's the lens that you're going for. So the way that this lens is gonna turn our phone into a microscope has to do a lot with the physics of light and bending it, which we're not really gonna get into. All we really need to know is that this lens has a convex curve to it, which means that it bends this way, making whatever's at its focal point to be magnified. So we wanna make sure that bend is facing away from our camera. Now that we've got our lens out, the last thing that we have to do is attach it to our phone. I like to use double stick tape with this, it's just super sticky, and it's really convenient if you happen to have a hole punch. Just fold it in half so that you've got a little bit of thickness, and punch a hole in the middle. Then we just fit our lens into there. Let's make sure the lens is facing the right direction. Put it over top of our camera, and voila, we should have a microscope. Let's check it out. So the only difference between this and a regular microscope is that I can't focus it manually, so I have to focus it just by putting it directly close. But look at that. Here's the word point from our ballpoint pen. Look at how close I can get. And what's even cooler is that I can continue zooming in by using my phone zoom. And that is a functional and cheap portable microscope. Let's go check out actual cool things to look at. The cool thing about this is that you can take videos and pictures anywhere that you're at. Personally, I like to be able to control the lighting, so I'd rather grab a specimen from here and bring it home where I may not have a microscope, but we can also check it out on the fly. So let's look at one of these peaches that fell. How close can we get? Here's my phone without the microscope. And that's about as close as I can get. Then we can zoom in eight times magnification. So this is what eight times magnification on my phone looks like right now. Now let's see, zoomed out, what it looks like with just our microscope lens. That's already way more detail. And now let's zoom in. We'll go to eight times magnification here. I can literally see a specific singular peach hair. Oh, gross. Oh, look at this little ant. How about we check him out? Oh my goodness, that's so good. There's two of them. Oh, nature's just being awesome right now. These ants like took over another ant colony because both of them have dead ants that are significantly smaller than them. It's a little messed up. Capturing a live image is tricky. Normally my specimens don't move on me whilst uh, looking at them, but this is very cool. Oh, yes. <gasps> That's a pretty cool shot. You can see the individual pores in the concrete. This is really cool, and I'm not even zoomed in right now. So my phone has its own zoom that it can go up to eight times its magnification or eight times the zoom. I'm fully zoomed out just looking at it through this lens, and the amount of detail that I can see is so cool. 
I like it. He dropped this dead ant, so now I'm gonna get some pictures of this so I can share them with you. Normally on a microscope, you have a way of tuning it. So you have a fine tune and you have a coarse focus, which allows you to move essentially the focal plane of what you're looking at up and down. And that's when you see people who are looking through a microscope kind of like turning a knob. You can't do that with this. So the way that you do it is you manually do it just by lifting and lowering your phone less, ever so slightly. And you can actually see different planes or different heights of whatever you're looking at underneath here. So the hardest part for capturing good footage this way is really my own stability because every tiny movement is magnified. Let's check out this red leaf. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now let's see if we can zoom in. And if we do this right, you should be able to see the individual cells of this leaf. Look at that. Oh, science is so cool. So I'm probably gonna stay out here doing this all day long. I won't make you look at all the stuff that I'm about to explore. But if you don't have nature at home where you could do this, you can look at things that are right inside your own house. From your very own skin cells to things like an onion. Onions are great to look at underneath a microscope because they have absolutely huge cells and you can see them so well underneath there. That's my skin magnified eight times. Look at that, a specific skin cell. Four times magnification, eight times magnification. You can get a hair follicle eight times as high as this goes. Those are my skin cells up close. Everything out here is literally amazing to look at underneath a microscope, and I will probably spend the rest of the evening doing that because I am a nerd. That's why I get paid to be a microbiologist and do this all day long. But I would almost guarantee that if you made yourself a microscope and started exploring the world through its lens, you too would fall in love with the amazing world of the microscopic. So what I would love to do and challenge you to do is make your own microscope, post your pictures, and tag me or the king of random in them. Until next time, I'll see you later, explorers.